Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We're a nonprofit that gets kids excited about math and science. So today we are replacing this old Honeywell thermostat. It actually uses mercury and a ball and just uh, way past its prime here. And we're going to replace it with a brand new Google Nest. Careful not to drop this because that is the mercury filled portion right there. Right, we're almost done with this here. All right. So let's see what it looks like under this. We might need it. All right, so we have the nest installed now. We did some research and found out that even with two wires, the new nest thermostat, this is different from the, uh, the previous ones, it's just called the Nest Thermostat, Google Nest Thermostat, uh, can actually work off of just two wires Red is connected to red, white is connected to white. That's in our case, your wiring may be different. So our existing face plate, we can still use that we were able to use these two screw holes to mount to the existing face plate. Although there is still a little bit of a gap and even with the nest put on there, you can see that top screw. So not the best visually, but it will do for the time being. We haven't decided whether we're gonna take off this old plate and paint whatever may be underneath. Or another option is even to take the old plate off of our Honeywell, take off all these circuits. Look at the, the circuit board, literally it is traces cut out of copper here. So we can do that as another option. Haven't fully decided yet, but that would take up that, that, uh, that gap as well and hide these two mounting screws. So, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and the, the batteries from the Nest come with these, a tab here just to make sure that it isn't connected and drains the battery. So, there we go. You can take off this protective sheet as well and as in real life it is a little bit hard to see if you're looking directly at that mirror all right and so we're going to go ahead and continue setting this up on our home app so you will need to download and install google home from the appropriate app store and then open it you have to allow home to take pictures and record video. We only need to do it while using the app to get that initial QR code off of the back of the unit. So remove the unit. And scan the back for the QR code. and continue with the setup here. So I didn't have a Nest account, so we went ahead and set one up. Didn't have any existing Nest devices. 
So we created a new nest network. And since we already went through the steps of installing our thermostat, we selected that option. And actually it is not able to connect here because we forgot to turn on the power or plug back in the heater or whatever unit you're using. The unit has to have power going to the wires. Our unit is a two wire, so we just selected white slash W1 and red or R. We don't have a millivolt system. And it is complaining about the C wire being needed to provide power. However, we're able to continue with the process here. Select your language. And again, it's complaining about the wires not being detected because we didn't have the unit turned on. So after turning back on the unit, it is able to connect successfully. We didn't hear our system actually turn on here, but we only have a heater at this point. It does effectively go through the testing of the system. Again, all this is happening in real time, so you can follow along if you'd like to. And there we go, ours is a gas system, so we selected the appropriate type, and it's also forced air. And there we go. So for the rest of the menus, we just went ahead and selected the defaults. We're going to go ahead and tweak these a little more as we get used to the unit. It is a fairly straightforward setup process. I really appreciate the thought that has gone, uh, gone into the settings for all these and the UIs and whatnot. And there we go. Our nest is almost getting complete to set up. You do have to put in your home address here or the address that you're installing this unit at. You can see in the background that it's downloading some updates over the Wi-Fi. There's the final moments of setup here. So you're just Asked to select where this nest is installed, which room. You can have multiple nest units. And for the schedules, we're just going to go with the defaults here. You can tweak these or adjust these as needed. Everything's available to you through the app, which is very nice, so you can adjust the temperatures for comfort, eco, and sleep. You can review that schedule by day. Again, we're just going with the defaults for now. You can set up home and away routines, so it can sense your presence by locating your phone or using your phone's location.
we're just going to go ahead and skip that one for now because we're always at home and we're just going to adjust this when our schedule shifts away from not always being at home. There's also HVAC monitoring. Not sure what this does exactly, but I guess it would alert you if the HVAC is not responding to the Nest's commands. So again, just a really nice UI here, teaching you how to use the device. You swipe your finger to the side of the device to adjust the temperature. You can tap on the side of it to bring up the menus or menu. It gives you the current indoor temperature. The outside weather. And there we go. It said it may take a couple days to calibrate. Let us know what you think in the comments. Smash that like button if we've earned it. That subscribe button helps us even more.